you can eat, my friend. I mean, I might have this part of it. It's okay. Um, okay, so uh, we just got a call from triage. Yeah. Um, there's a 56-year-old male, um, history of uh, AFib. Uh, he's on uh, Warfarin, from what we gather, and he had a fall off of a ladder. He did have uh, transient hypotension, maybe ongoing, I'm not sure yet. Uh, so he should be here in the next two minutes, okay? Uh, in your team, I think the, um, the trauma team's been activated, so you, the team should be here right now. Perfect, okay. Who do we have here? So we got general surgery, RT, anesthesia, and our nursing staff. Okay, guys, so we have a 55-year-old coming in, uh, fall off ladder uh, on anticoagulation. So we'll need to get a first set of vitals, some IVs, figure out if we need our MHP activated, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? We'll need a quick assessment to figure out if he's bleeding from anywhere. And then we're always worried about a head injury, so we'll talk about uh, when we're going to intubate, if he needs intubation. Okay, guys, any questions before we start? Let's go. Yeah. And yeah, let's get our level one infusers ready. Okay, patients coming in. Okay, so our last uh, BP, we had 85 on 40. Um, and this gentleman had a fall off the ladder. Uh, he has been decreased LOC, GCS around 10, 11, uh, and we put a pelvic binder on him because he was complaining about he was sort of moaning a lot when we were touching the pelvis, and um, he was he's been tachycardic around 110, 120. Okay. All right. Uh, we did get a um, his wife was on scene and said that he's on warfarin as well. Warfarin. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, anesthesia, if we can get an airway assessment, general surgery, let's do our primary survey and let's get them on monitors. So guys, our first update is we have a blood pressure of 85 over 40. And given that this patient's on warfarin, I'm concerned about a bleed. Uh, can we start our MHP protocol, please? Let's get some units of blood. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, let's get two grams of TXA drawn up, please. Okay. Anesthesia. So his airway is patent, but I'm concerned about his level of consciousness for protection for it. Okay. Uh, there's good air on the right, but I don't hear any on the left. Uh, uh, stats right now are 89, so we just give him some oxygen, okay. get the non rebreather going. Great. Uh, it's a simulation. And uh, Jensen, just make sure to do the E fast. Yeah. See if there's lung sliding. Quadrant and on the left side for no lung sliding. Um, his belly is still soft. Okay. Sorry, just given the no lung sliding, let's move to get a chest tube in there, please, or at least a finger thoracostomy. Okay. All right, so it looks like we got our IVs. Anesthesia, so we're going to definitely decompress the left chest first. Let's stabilize them with some blood and then we'll talk about intubation. If you can get your equipment ready okay. and we'll get some drugs drawn up. Perfect. While they're getting blood from that side, do you want me to assess the pelvis? For, for now. Just because they can't get on that sure. side. Yeah, sorry, because I'm yeah. just walking. I'll get that right now. What drugs do you like for intubation? So, do we have the TSA already? You have the port Okay, let's make sure we get that first and then uh, you can drop ketamine and rocuronium. Unstable, okay, thank you. All right, guys, just to summarize now that we've started things, we have the 55-year-old male on warfarin. 
Uh, we've called for an MHP. So far, injuries are a left pneumothorax, positive fast, so there is some intra-abdominal bleeding, and an unstable pelvis. Our priorities now are to decompress his left chest, get blood going, and give TXA, and then we'll talk about intubation. All right, guys? So, uh, do we have all the equipment ready for a finger thoracostomy? Yeah, I have my shovel. Okay. So, we might have to wait for the IV line. We just want to get this tube in. Yeah. So, there's an 18 gauge in the left AC. Perfect, thank you. Can you give me an auto tegator? Yeah. And then, after you call for tegator and we're off. So we have those drugs ready. And can I... Uh, can do I have the blood work for you? Perfect. Do we have confirmation that the TXA has been given? I, um, I have the TXA here. Okay. Perfect. We have our ketamine in raw. Uh, can we also call for octoplex? We'll do 2,000 units. And 10 milligrams of uh, vitamin K. One gram of TXA given. Can we give a second gram as well? I also have some vitamin K. Perfect. Here, Okay, so I see some blood coming out of that left chest wall. Yep. I got blood in air out of the left chest. Okay, we'll follow with a chest tube once we have time. We Second just, gram of TSA given. Perfect. Okay. So uh, a repeat of the vital signs there. We have a blood pressure of 85 over 40. Uh, we'll wait until we have some blood running and some resuscitation before intubating, if you're okay with that anesthesia. I'm okay with that plan. Okay, great. Uh, do you want to do the rest of the secondary yeah, survey okay. for now? Sure. Yeah. We'll log roll them after the intubation. How much vitamin K do you want? 10 milligrams. The blood is here. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Check. 10 milligrams of vitamin K given. So let's get the blood running in the level one infusion, please. Okay, can we get some warm blankets uh, on him? Second unit's on top is... Andrew, thank you. Yeah, so the plan afterwards from the perspective would be, we'll go to the ketamine and rock, probably add talk to the doses of what he wants, and then we'll take the caller off, and Andrew will help me with the line to like... And then general surgery, will uh, have to talk to the trauma surgeon on call if you want to give a call to them. Yeah. Okay, so we'll given his GCS being 10, we've started blood. I think we'll go ahead with low doses of ketamine and rock to get him intubated as long as you're comfortable with that. Yep, we can use sucks. We'll just use a bit of a higher dose. So let's go for 150 milligrams. So after the paramedic is in, I'll take some uh, color off and then use it on the web in my Perfect. So Q, do you want to get on the other side? Okay, we'll take off the collar once uh, Garrett's ready. So what's the best risk? Okay. So let's start with ketamine, 30 milligrams, please. Hundred fifty of sucks. 
Garrick, I'll watch the timer. Just uh, keep uh, ventilating the patient. Okay, we're just having a procedure here, guys. We're intubating. So Starting with third unit of blood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we get we have misting and uh, color change on the next unit checked. Yep, next unit checked and ready to go. Great. Sorry guys, we just have a critical procedure going on right now. So we have equal chest rise by that so we're just going to put the collar back on and secure the suit. Okay. Is that the fourth one? Yeah. Are you okay? All right, guys. Intubation successful. Our next priorities are going to be to log roll the patient, keep going with the MHP, and then get our x-rays of chest and pelvis, and then get this patient to the OR with the trauma surgeon. She left before I gave her. Okay, to the secure, perfect. Team is 21 at the peak. Great. Okay, guys, uh, can we get x ray to come in? We'll shoot a chest and a pelvis. We're continuing with the blood products. Uh, after this fourth unit, if we can do two units of FFP. And then where are we with the octoplex? It's still on its way. On its way. Okay, thanks, guys. All right, guys, I have our x-rays here, so uh, I'll report them. Uh, on the left, we have a small hemothorax in the chest and a pneumothorax. Uh, no chest tube as we haven't put one in yet. Uh, and for our pelvic x-ray, we do have uh, a pelvic fracture here and a uh, uh, fracture through the pubic symphysis, okay? So we'll keep the pelvis bound. Uh, the resuscitation seems to be working. The heart rate's now down to 109. We're still waiting for the blood pressure to come up. Uh, we finished our four units, so we'll start FFPs next. We're waiting for our octoplex. Uh, our trauma surgeon is aware, uh, so we'll continue the resuscitation and hopefully get this patient to the OR. Do you don't want calcium? Uh, not at this point. I'm just waiting for blood work. Yeah. At this time, anesthesia, any signs of head injury? No, so let me... Blood is here. Blood's here. And octoplex. And octoplex. Lovely. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Those people that are equal interactive, um, I don't see any obvious signs of head injury. Okay. Just given his GPS, yes, although he is hypotensive, let's just lower the feet of the bed. For now, I don't think we need to hyperventilate, so I'll just do that. I'll start with the FFP. Continue resuscitation like that. I have the 545. Five. FFP. Okay, so we're getting the FFP ready. Yep. Does anyone uh, have any five, questions four, or concerns so at this five, point? Four, five. Five, four, eight, yeah. Okay. Five, four, eight, yeah. It's William Strong, J4010. All right, guys, I've gotten the updated blood work. So hemoglobin is 90. INR is 1.6. Fibrinogen is 1.4. And his ionized calcium is 1. Okay? So at this point in time, I think we should replace his fibrinogen and calcium. Um, can we get uh, four grams of fibrinogen concentrate and three grams of calcium gluconate, please? Thank you. Now that we have time as well, I see if you want to put any blinds in. Oh. 
five-year-old gentleman here with the warfarin and hypotension that has a positive fast. We've gone through four units of blood, two units of FFP. He showed some stability. We've been working on him for about an hour and in the past 30 minutes he's been Let stable here. here. Fibrinogen, concentrate. Perfect, we have some fibrinogen, we'll give that. Uh, we're giving the octoplex now. I think at this point uh, we're going to change our plan from OR to CT scan as he's shown some stability.